way goddesses because we need divine intervention. We need somebody to hold our hand with their great intelligence, with their knowledge to foresee what is going to happen. We need wealth to the end of the earth, you know. And we think deep down, even to think of it, oh my God, I don't need the end of the world as the earth, you know, the end of as my inheritance, the end of the earth, the, oh, the, there is negativity. You can't even conceive of a million dollar. Why? There is conceptual constraints. The, you know, my rule, my rule is you cannot manifest that which you cannot conceive. So what is the stumbling block here? Chitta, the mind. And who is going to remove that? The goddess. And how the goddess can be lived within your body how she raises your kundalini. Raising the kundalini is key that goes through all the goddesses' body. Kundalini herself is a goddess. Kundalini is the prana, the life force that is dormant now. Awakening the Kundalini will transform your consciousness. So all that, you, you know, it's very, very easy to transform your life. Only one thing is needed. Commitment. If we for today, this is the morning time, just going into noon. If you can commit that I am going to remain conscious with my awareness put into the left nostril and in the third eye, and I'm not going to chit chat, I have done that all my life, that's garbage. If we remain more alert and alert and alert and conscious and not even a, a stupid thought, even by mistake, enters your mind. And that is God, the goddess. The goddess will guard you, will give you the, teach you the principles of time, Wait, you know, remember one of my favorite teeth affirmation is waiting is a waste of time. What are you waiting for? Waiting to make money for after five years? No. If you want anything and everything, it should happen now. Now is the only reality. When, I, when we say that, the mind says, no, now nothing is going to happen. Maybe tomorrow it may happen, but not now. Why not? Because you do not know what is now. Now escapes your understanding. Now, I'll tell you now. I will tell you now what is now. And the now is timelessness. It's neither the past, nor the future, nor the present. It is a timeless moment. Now, what does it like, look like? Or how, what is the experience going to be? It is free from thought. 
you will forget that you are here. You will forget that you have a body. You will forget that you have a mind. And that consciousness is the goddess consciousness. That is the consciousness of the goddess. Completely, you won't know that you have a body. You won't know without you have a mind. Yesterday, I had that experience. I was sitting in my chair and then I don't know what happened. And I was working on the now and the goddess. And then suddenly I lost my body consciousness. I lost my mind consciousness until there was a message from someone on the WhatsApp, and then the phone beeped. That brought me to this world. I'll tell you one example from Osho. Osho was reading a book, sitting, he climbed on a tree, the treetop, it's a huge tree, and he was leaning on the, one of the big branches of the tree and reading a book. And he fell down. He went into a meditative state. He did not know what happened. He fell down on the ground. And he did not know what happened. And uh, some women who were passing by, I don't know how long he was lying down there, went and touched the body of Osho to just find out if he's alive or dead or sleeping or whatever. Then immediately at the split of the second, he found that... Uh, he was both on the tree still and then also lying on the ground. In the split of a second, then he realized what made him to give this earthly consciousness was the energy of the woman. The woman is the creatress, the womb, the time in the womb is where you learn, where you can learn to create matter out of energy. And the goddess, I'm also going to teach how you to get lost in this material world. Once you have all these toys, you will get lost. The goddess will give you that knowledge where you will not be carried away by the world of Maya, but you, at the same time, you will not lose Maya. So that's what's going to be the program. And why is this time? Because this is the time that the goddess is descending. And each day, I will check the appropriate time to invite her and talk to her and then give the messages to you. So if you don't have to wait for the program to start, you can you can, I've just already given you a technique to be in touch with the goddess. I've told you what, what is time and how is time, is the womb chakra and all these things. Stay in that consciousness and prepare yourself to accept the goddess's descent when it happens in mid-October. So today, I usually end my talk with saying, God bless. Now this time I will say goddess bless.